This box has been in the family for generations. Open it and you may have what's inside. Something is reacting to the pendant. Take the item inside. Now let's leave it there for a while. Hey everybody, it's Zergear Plus, and welcome back to Let's Play Corona Trigger. In the last episode, we ran around and got a few things. In this episode, we're going to be continuing to run around and get a few things. Um, just not there. So, this is a treasure chest that I neglected to get before. It's one that I don't necessarily need, but it would be good to have. Um, in the future, if you go back to the present, this will have a blue mail in it. Otherwise, if you get it now, it has a blue vest. I'm currently looking for the red mail, or red vest, because I'm going to need it to get on with a certain, what you might call it, side quest that I have to do later in the... Where's the epic? Oh, I walked all the way from there. Uh... Hi, Robo. Are you being a scarecrow? I think you are. Anyway. Let's go searching in other places for it. Uh, the Mayor's Manor down here has black and white vests. So that's re pretty nice, I guess. That is, if you wanted to use the black and white vest. Wait a minute! Inside the magic cave, there was one. Okay, that was weird. It was lagging a little bit. Oh, it was in the other end. Hey, I wonder what this guy says now that he's now that Magus's castle doesn't exist anymore. Note written in blood. No, okay. I guess they just didn't feel like changing his programming. It's the small things that I appreciate. So in the magic cave, if you go in here, there we are. Okay. Not exactly what I expected, but not terrible. Okay, I seriously need to find that red vest, red mail. I don't even care. I'm only going to use it for one thing, then I'll probably sell it. Because I'm not too worried about statuses like that. <laughs> so, let's try down here. I wasn't exactly looking too well. In this inn, we have nothing. What about in the market? Also nothing. What about in this residence? Still... Oh! Hold on. I doubt it, but just maybe. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought this episode's gonna be called. The Great Goose Chase. And it's not in here either. Where is this red vest? I know there is one. They wouldn't just give you every other element then... Because that would be stupid. I don't even know where to remotely start looking. Wasn't there... I don't want to go back in the cathedral if I don't have to. But weren't there... I don't even know. Let's check the castle. I'm pretty sure there's stuff in here that we haven't gotten. So this episode's just going to be a little blind, I guess. But not bad. Don't get that treasure chest, we'll need it later. Ah! Uh -huh. Something inside, I don't want to take it out yet. I think I found it. So that just took a little bit of looking. Oh no. Please don't usher me into this part of the side quest right away. I'm afraid that if I go in there... It's going to start the second half of the Rainbow Shell side quest. Because I don't want to do that until I do this particular side quest that I want to do first. <laughs> I think it's going to usher me into it. So we're talking about the queen and the king and stuff. Tell me more! This may be difficult. Well, queen... Eliza, that's how I'm going to be pronouncing it. While Queen Eliza's condition suddenly changed for the worst, she desperately wanted to see the king one last time, but he couldn't find the time to drop by. She s said he had some work to do. But knowing nothing about death, you waited faithfully by your mother's side. 
Eliza passed away. Did I just immediately change the way I was pronouncing that? I don't care. Eliza passed away in sorrow. As if the king indirectly killed her. Such a shame. What? My father killed my mother! Da -da -da -da. They should have added a sound effect there. But what do I do? But what do I... But what do... Okay, I'm going to start again. Stop it, reverse it. Okay. But what do I know? There are reasons for everything, right, dear? Now, glad to see you back again. Please go and visit the king. Okay. But... But... Uh, I want to get in there. 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 Oh, you got to be kidding me. You're not going to let me get my treasure? Huh, this wasn't here before. Well, anyway, I want to check what's up here first because I okay. Nah, yeah. Huh. That one's a little out of place. Wait a minute, let's go downstairs first. Because I remember now, I'm going to want to go downstairs first. Man, this is just the episode where I remember all kinds of stuff that isn't relevant. Okay. We go upstairs then. Just more cards! Oh, right, this part. See, I don't have too much knowledge of this part of the game. I don't remember this side quest. I just kind of get it out of the way. Hey! Had any of you heard of the Rainbow Show? I, too, had no idea until I found this! It's an ancestral will. It says, unveil the Rainbow Shell to the people at the Millennial Fair. What are you talking about? We have no family heirlooms here. So this is a forgery. Why does the defendant deny the people a glimpse of the rainbow shell? Because he no longer has it! He sold the heirloom for cash. Witness, please. What? What is it, Nadia? We're conducting a trial here! Nadia, the Chancellor is trying to frame me. He hurls insults. Confirm your innocence with proof. Proof? Yes, if he hasn't sold the heirloom, it should be in the castle. Show me rainbow show me the rainbow shell and I'll accept his innocence. <laughs> Chancellor, what kind of trickery is this? The good kind. Remove them. Let me through. It didn't work. Crap. Find the rainbow shell and we'll be able to prove the king's innocence, so let's do that. There is no family heirloom. We changed history back in 600, so it should be somewhere in the castle. I see. Probably in the basement. Yeah, because she knows that the castle has a basement, but the whole rest of the castle doesn't know that they had a basement. I don't even understand that. Oh, maybe I should have gone down here first. Yeah, because otherwise this guy wouldn't have been a rat bit me, really. Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> I love these guys. These guys are just actual Nashers. They have the 60 HP that... It's those guys. I'm not kidding. Yeah, boy! You saw that. I know you saw that. That 1500 damage that Chrono did. With a critical hit. Because it's four times critical hit damage. Man, it's like watching Tron... Tron... Uh, strike it, reverse it. It's like watching Law and Order all over again. I confess, I bought the king. I bought... Wow, read slower. I bought it from the king. He said he needed the cash. Liar! I've never even seen you before. Order in the court! Heh <laughs> was I convincing? Perfect. Okay, so let's kill this naga -et as well as this Nasher. They're exactly the same as before, and they're so weak I can just kill them without a second thought. So I'm not even going to worry about... Oh, let's grab this first. Get a lapis. I can skip this fight or not. Either way, we can just kill you all the same. So die! Anywho... Now we're gonna go up here into this door. 
crap! I knew he was coming, too. Okay, so now we're... I'm just gonna take all of them out with a move we haven't seen in a while. Cyclone! That should be more than enough. Yeah. Definitely more than enough. Anyway, let's get... I never got the blue mail, did I? I don't think I did. Because, as we all know... We're getting stuff left and right here, and I can't get anything else. Okay, so we'll just have to progress the plot then. The rainbow shell! We found it! What's this? A letter? To Marley. Dearest Marley, I know things are tough between you and your father, but nothing can break your bond of blood. Neither words of anger nor great distances. <laughs> Someday, when you have children, you will understand. This special bond is part of a family tree, which links us together. Signed, Queen Guardia the 21st. Lean. I promised myself I would never do that in these episodes, but I guess I lied. That was my Alex Louis Armstrong voice. The Strong Arm Alchemist. For anybody that's watched Full Metal, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So here we get the Prism Shard. Members of the jury, if he is guilty, stand to the left. If innocent, stand to the right. Okay, I guess we do get to hear my favorite music again. Well, you know what I mean. Shallow's my favorite theme. This is my favorite music. Um. Ha! Ha ha! You gotta be kidding me. They don't move in a pattern. Thank you. And my dog's going insane. I hope you guys can't hear that. Hold on, can I get these? I can! Man, I'm just getting good stuff all over the place here, aren't I? Okay, so let's get a move on. Oh, pff, duh, up here. I can get these now. Because <laughs> I'm in the future. Ugh. This one's locked, though. Okay. Maybe there's a key I can find. I'll open it later. But what will be the fate of the king? Ha! I finally managed to throw in a good cliffhanger in this episode. Or in this series, really. Anyway, find out next time on the next episode of Let's Play Chrono Trigger. This is Eric Plus signing off, and I will see you guys then.